Hello everyone, I'm Jennifer. Thank you for stopping by Scrapbooks and Memories. Today is another fun announcement. I am hosting a spring themed pocket letter swap. Yay, I'm so excited. If you don't know what a pocket letter is, I have a couple examples. Last year I also hosted a pocket letter swap and a few ladies had joined in. It was my first um, or my second swap I had ever done. And um, these were a couple of the letters I had received. So a pocket letter is you take a baseball card holder um, sleeve for like the, the binders and stuff. And they have three, six, nine spaces. So you make nine ATCs, which is artist trading cards, which are just altered cards, altered little pieces of cardstock, whatever. This one here is from Alex. Her channel is a bullet for my snail mail. Shout out to my girl, Alex. She did such a beautiful pocket letter last year. Now you do send embellishments with your decorated um, little ATCs. I already took out the embellishments and used them. Or I still have them stored away probably somewhere so that I can use them in my projects. You could use a double pocket to where you could put your card in the front and then put your embellishments in the pocket behind it. Or you could just go ahead and tuck your embellishments behind your ATC cards. And there's different types of things you can create. I really love this shaker cord she had made. I'm probably not going to use that. I'm just going to hoard it like I have been because they're just so beautiful. And that's their her her art on a card. So I definitely don't want to use those for anything. I'm just going to keep them nice and pretty in my binder to look at. And this one was from Lene over at Fashionably Be fashionably 50 something and beyond and these pocket letters the cool thing about them is look they just fold up like this even with embellishments in them they'll still fold up and you could stick them in a like little small brown um, envelope and it won't cost that much to ship out and I'm thinking I did a spring theme last year too for these because both of these are kind of springy looking and they're so very cute I still have all the little papers she sent me and I haven't used. This one has a bunch of washi on it. She had sent me this cute little deer sticker. I might use these this year for spring crafting. Or I might not. I'm not quite sure yet. Because I do like to just leave them in my binder and look back on them and like, like, oh, look how cute. Look what she made. So if you would like to participate in this, um, in this swap, you have to be 18 years or older, live in the USA. It's going to be a one-to-one -one partner. Sign-ups are today through the 19th of March, March 19th. And on March 20th, I will make the matches and email everyone out their partners with the partner's email so y'all can get in touch with each other and get each other's mailing addresses. And I'm asking that you mail out by um, April 12th. So give you some time, you know, to start working on it before the Easter holiday if you celebrate Easter and then some time afterwards to finish it up and get it mailed out to your partner. Um, you do not need to have a channel to participate in this swap. You don't have to upload a video to participate in this swap. If you have social media and you would like to share what you're sending and what you're receiving, that's great. I'm sure um, I would love to see it so you could tag me in it and also tag your partner in it. Um, and that'll be fine. If you would like to participate, my email is in the description box below along with all the other information that I was just spewing out. I might have said it too fast. You can go in and just read it. It is a spring theme swap. So make sure your ATCs are your interpretation of what spring is to you. And I believe that's all you guys. I hope you have a great Tuesday and a crafty week. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.